Hey Mario, this is Josh from Josh Danny SEO, just shooting you over that video about how you can improve your online presence. So just taking a look at your website, love the logo, uh, you got your address, you got your different social medias, you got your numbers, which are both click to call, which is awesome. Good job there for those quick conversions. And then of course, you got your email as well, which is great. Going through your website, of course, what you do, the different floors you work with, uh, why uh, work with y'all. And then, of course, recent projects you can view more in the gallery. So, very nice site, very small uh, as far as the homepage goes. Um, not a ton of words content. You got a lot of great pictures, but what Google is truly looking for is about 1,500 to 2,000 words throughout your homepage. And that allows you to put key, uh, organic keywords throughout um, your content. Now, what an organic keyword is, is a buyer intent word that someone's putting into Google in order to find your specific service and location. Um, so before we get farther into that, let's take a look behind the scenes at your website. So classichardwoodfloors.net, we put it into AREFs, which allows us to take a look behind the scenes and out pops your scores. So the two things we're looking at are the UR, which is the strength of your website, and the DR, which is the trust of your website. As you can see, 27 and 0.3. Ideally, we're looking, we want both of these to be between 30 and 40 with a ratio of one to one. That's what we call the golden ratio. Now, the way you get those are with strong backlinks. Now, what a backlink is, is any link that leads from another website back to yours. However, not all backlinks are created equal. For example, if you get like 100 backlinks from Wikipedia, that would be awful because Wikipedia is a super spammy site. However, if you would get backlinks from a flooring blog, that would be great because that's relevant to your service. Now, another super important thing are your organic keywords. What buyer intent words are you ranking for um, that Google is ranking you for? So let's check those out. So first up, you can see these are all your names. Hardwood floor is the first one. You're on the fifth spot, which is about the second or third. Um, which is netting you about five people that are actually looking for hardwood floors. Then keep on going down flooring New Orleans. You can see 400 people a month are searching that. Right now you're on about the third page, which I'm surprised you're even getting one person from that because the third page is very rare for people to go. And then of course, flooring New Orleans, 450. You're on the bottom of the third page. And as you can see, you're getting zero people from that. So let's take a look at what this word would actually look like. So flooring New Orleans. First things up is your GMB. Now it's super important to get on this because 30 to 40% of all people will stop right here and pick one of these three people. That's just the easiest thing to do. They have, uh, they're in the top, so they must be good. Not how it works, but that's how it looks. And then of course you have your organic rankings. This is by strength of website. Now your top competitor is New Orleans Florence or nolaflooring.com. So let's check out their website and see why they're ranked number one. So New Orleans Flooring, they have their logo, they have their different drop-down menus, request an estimate. They don't have a click-to-call like you do, um, which they still have stuff they can work on as well. So they have all their products, they have what they do, reviews, um, why them, and then of course, as you can see, they don't have a ton of content either. So that's not gonna be something too difficult to beat them out either. However, let's check behind the scenes and see why they're doing so well. First up, their UR rating. As you can see, their strength is a whopping 41. So they're above that golden. Then their trust might not be 30 to 40, but 16 is still not bad considering. The reason being, as you can see, they have a ton of backlinks. They have over 2,600 different backlinks helping them out, as well as they're ranking for 409 different keywords uh, throughout their site. So let's check what their keywords are. Flooring New Orleans, the 451, they're ranked number two, which is the first organic position as you saw. And as you can see, they're getting 168 traffic from that. Now, New Orleans flooring, that's them. So we can take this 400 with a grain of salt and this 141 with a grain of salt. However, that's still something someone would search if they're looking for flooring in New Orleans. They just happen to prior, they just happen to uh, get that name. Flooring in New Orleans, as you can see, once again, 141. So just out of these people, they're getting a ton of traffic, as you can see. So if we're looking to beat them out, first things first, backlinks. You want to beat them out in backlinks. 
So you have 356, you want to get above the 3000 mark. You want to get another, yeah, time, multiply this by 10 um, to beat them out. And good thing is you have a roadmap. You know that these work, you know that they're working for them. They'll work for you too. You can find them and you can add them to your list. As well as you got to get that content. 1,500 to 2,000 words so you can organically place buyer intent words throughout your site and throughout your homepage so Google knows what to rank you for and they'll say, hey, these buyer intent words are relevant to their content. We're going to rank them for them. So put those two together. You should start seeing a lot more people coming to your site with the intent to buy as well as calling you or form submitting um, to render your services. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach back out to me. And if you can leave some feedback, that would be awesome.